Already a tennis great. Ali himself says he's dreamy. Rafael Nadal <laughs> will play in uh, prime time tonight in New York City at uh, the U.S. Open. He is the defending champion, number two in the world. I got to sit down with him to talk about life on and off the court, about Rafael Nadal's biggest passions and his biggest fear. One of the quotes from your book, um, your mother describes you as a scaredy cat around your family who sleeps with a light on. How does the cat become the tiger that you certainly are on the court? <laughs> well, uh, yeah, um, <laughs> it's good, <laughs> especially during the evening now. I, I like to, to sleep with the TV or with the computer. Even or, today, now? Today, I sleep with the TV <laughs> on. <laughs> yeah, I, Why is that? You don't like the dark? Mm -hmm. I, I hate the dark, <laughs> so I, I do, I do, I, I sleep with the TV. It takes a big man to admit that. And I wake up at 3 in the morning with the TV on, I, I turn off. <laughs> You've joined the Twitterverse. <laughs> I, I'm doing, since a few weeks ago. How is, how's that going? Well, I started with Facebook um, a few years ago, and well, it was the, the right moment to start with Twitter. Is, um, yeah, it's a different thing to do. I have fun. I am in more contact with the fans. And, you know, I am a little bit shy, but um, with these kind of things, uh, I am opening myself a little bit more to, to the people and something, I think, works for them, but works for myself too. See, I would never think you'd be shy. I am a little bit, yeah. I, I was very shy a few years ago, but, you know, with my life, <laughs> I tried to, to improve that. So why did you decide to become a part of that campaign? Well, for me, it's a, it's a really honor to be ambassador of the Champions Dream Responsibly campaign of Bacardi. Um, uh, it's a campaign that I really believe is, is for everybody, but especially for the young people. Uh, I am young and uh, I like to go out with friends. I like to have fun with the family, friends, uh, go for party, but everything, thinking, responsibly. If you dream like, like crazy, have the right plan to come back home safely. That's, that's the right message. Let's talk about the U.S. Open. So what is different about the U.S. Open from other tournaments? The U.S. Open is, is the last Grand Slam of the season. Uh, you know, it's probably the, the, the Grand Slam who, who is more show for everybody, for the players, for the, for the crowd, that the, the crowd are very emotional here, that um, a lot of things uh, going on during the match for the crowd. Uh, oh, is the crowd tough here? I love, I love the crowd here. I think they, I had a big support from them the last years and uh, hopefully this year we'll have to. You know? So I feel uh, a lot of passion when I go on this court. It's the biggest court in the tour and uh, the crowd is, is hot. So I, I love playing here in New York. What opponent do you find more difficult to face? Is it Federer? Or Djokovic? When Federer was playing well and when Federer is playing at his top level, I think he's the best of the history. And it's impossible to, to reach that level. No? Djokovic is doing fantastic things this year when he's playing well. It's very difficult to defeat him, to beat him. To beat him. This year, everybody knows because he only lost two matches during all, all season. But it um, depends on the moment. When Djokovic is playing, his best. Uh, Djokovic is very difficult. When Federer is playing his best, Federer is very, very difficult. And if I am playing not by best, it's impossible. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so that's the thing. See, interesting. That, is he that self-deprecating in real life? Like he just... Oh, he was a charmer. He's really a charmer. But, you know, he's talking about facing these different opponents. He says he doesn't really prepare any differently, no matter right. who he faces. He just sticks to his game. If he's on his game, he says he he's win. unbeatable. Wow. Awesome. Yeah. He very interesting. Very charming. What's up with the hair? Uh, oh, he had longer hair. I said, you got your hair cut. He said, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not all in the hair. <laughs>